What's up guys this is Shivain and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that you cannot download any apps from the Microsoft Windows Store on your Windows 10 PC or any Windows for that matter. So before we begin with the video I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related problems then you can just comment down below or better you can just DM us on social media and we'll make a specific solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. Now before we begin with the solutions, I would just like to tell you guys that you might not be able to download the application from the Microsoft Windows Store if it is not available in your country or region or if the app is no longer available on the Microsoft Store itself or it is actually not compatible with the device. So make sure that this is not the case for you and now let's begin with the generic solutions to this problem. So firstly, try to sign in and out of your Microsoft Store account multiple times and check whether that fixes your issue. Next, you can try updating your Windows 10 to the latest version and you can do that by going to your Windows search and then searching for Windows update settings and in the settings, make sure that your Windows PC is up to date and the next thing to do is to temporarily disable your antivirus system as it might cause this issue as well. So just Temporarily disable your antivirus system and check whether that fixes your issue. And you might have this issue due to some internet connection problem as well. So to fix that, you just go to your windows search and then search for control panel. In control panel, go to network and internet and then network and sharing center. After that, go to change adapter settings on the left. And here select the adapter that you have. If you use Wi-Fi like me to connect your internet then use Wi-Fi and if you use an ethernet cable then use the ethernet option. After that right click on it and then go to properties and then in properties go to internet protocol version 4 and then select Use the following DNS server address instead of opting the server automatically and then just type in the following preferred DNS address and alternative DNS address. I'll link these in the description below for you to check out. It is 1111 and 1001. Then just save the changes, restart your PC and check whether that fixes your problem. Now if that doesn't fix your problem, you can just go back to the network and sharing center and change your DNS server back to obtain the DNS server automatically. Now for the next solution, just go to your windows search and then search for troubleshoot settings. In troubleshoot settings, go to additional troubleshooters and then scroll down until you find windows store apps. Then just select it and select run the troubleshooter. Then just follow the commands displayed on your screen by the troubleshooter. And once the process finishes, you can just restart your PC and check whether that fixes your problem. The next thing to do is go to your windows search again and then go to WS reset and then right click on it and then select run as administrator. What this will do is reset your windows store application. So run this a few times like run this command two or three times and then restart your PC and check whether that fixes your issue. The next solution is to change your date and time settings. So just go to your windows search and then search for date and time and then select change the date and time and here turn on select time automatically and set time zone automatically and click on the sync now button under the synchronize your clock option. Once you do this, you know the drill, just restart your PC and check whether that fixes your problem. Now the next step to solve this issue is using PowerShell command. So just go to your windows search and then search for powershell and then in windows powershell right click on it and then click on run as administrator once you run the powershell as an administrator i'll link these commands down in the description below for you to check out you just have to copy and paste these commands and follow the instructions which i'm going to tell you so firstly just copy and paste the first three commands in the description below and what these commands do is that they re-register your windows store applications and once you run these commands, then we move on to the next set of commands. So here set the execution policy as unrestricted. After that, select the command of get app package all users. And once the command finishes, then just go to the top bar of the 
PowerShell and then right click on it and then go to edit and then find and then type in Microsoft.Windows Store. Then you will find all the details of the Windows Store application installed on your PC or laptop. And then you just have to copy the full package name from this details. And to copy this, just again select it and then go to the top bar and go to edit and then copy. Then just paste it somewhere safe. And then in the next command that I have listed, just paste that command onto the PowerShell, but this time there is a placeholder for the package full name in that command. So you just have to paste in the package full name that we just copied for your specific Windows store and then paste it instead of that placeholder and then run the command. Then once you run the command and it finishes, just paste in the final two commands. The first one is get app package all users and the second one is get child item. Then after all the commands finish running, just restart your PC and check whether that fixed your problem. Now the next step is resetting your Windows Store. So just go to your Windows search and then search for settings. Once you open up the Windows settings, then go to apps and then select apps and features and in the search list, just search for store and then select Windows Microsoft Store and then go to advanced options then scroll down until you find reset and then just click on the reset button and once it finishes restart your pc and check whether that fixed your problem now if even that doesn't fix your problem don't worry we still have a few solutions to go for the next part just open up your windows microsoft store and then click on the three dots on the top right hand corner and then go to downloads and updates here, just select the get updates option and once the process finishes, then restart your PC and check whether that fixed your problem. Next, you go to your windows search and then search for services and then in services, scroll down until you find Microsoft store install service. Then just double click on it and then set the startup type as automatic and then just restart this service. After that, restart your PC and check whether that fixed your problem. Next, just go to your windows search and then search for run. Then in run type in inetcpl.cpl. I'll link this down in the description below for you to copy and paste. And then here just go to the advanced tab and make sure there is a check next to use TLS 1.2. Once you put the check mark then just apply and save and then restart your PC and check whether that fixed your issue. Now finally the last solution I can offer you guys is some command prompt commands. So just go to your windows search and then search for command prompt then right click on it and then go to run as administrator. After that I'll link these commands down in the description below for you to check out. Just paste these commands in that order in which they are listed in the description and then run all of these commands. Once you run all of the commands then restart your PC and check whether that fixed your problem. Now, if your problem is still not fixed, the last thing I can tell you guys is to reinstall Windows manually. And to do this, I'll link the official Microsoft site in the description below for you to check out. Just go to that site and then under create Windows 10 installation media, select download tool now. And then once you download the tool, just install it using the installation wizard and follow the steps displayed on your screen by the setup wizard. Then just restart your PC and check whether that fixes your issue. Now, if your issue is still not fixed, I recommend that you just comment down below or email us your detailed problem and we can make a specific solution video for you guys. And if it did help you, then just comment down below which method worked, subscribe to the channel and obviously like the video. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.